All right, we're now going to answer part C here. It says, how many activities could have their completion time increased by two weeks without altering the minimum completion time? So really what this is asking us is how many of these have a float time of two or greater that I could, you know, bump it up by without creating a new critical path. So looking through these, I just said, all right, which of these have a float time of two or greater? So I could bump up and I'll do this in orange. I, I has a float time of two because 10 minus eight is two. So I is one of them. So let's circle I. What else could I bump up? What about E? E has a float time of seven and five. Seven minus five is two. So E could be bumped up as well. What else could be bumped up? Um, now F has a float time of nine minus eight. So that's no good. Nine minus eight uh, is one. It, I couldn't bump it up. What about B? Uh, B has a float time of five. So B could be bumped up by two. That's fine. Uh, what else could be bumped up by two? What about uh a, A can't be bumped up by two because it's got a float time of one minus zero. Uh, so that's not two, so no good. But G could be bumped up because G has a float time of eight minus six, which is two. So that's good. And then of course, everything on my, my critical path can't be bumped up. So it looks like it's one, a two, a three, a four. So my answer here will be four. There are how many activities could have their completion time increased by two weeks without altering the minimum completion time? Four activities could have their minimum completion time increased. So my answer is four. Correct answer was four.